What's good guys, Tiger here, welcome to the channel. Today I have completed the AUG, the AUG submachine gun in Modern Warfare. I said in one of my previous videos that I am moving on to submachine guns after finishing the snipers. I'm so happy to be moving on to the subs, I can play at a faster pace. I have a really dominant weapon, especially at close range, and I'll be able to just be able to compete in lots of different type of gunfights, as if you're using a sniper, even though it's very, very fun sniping. Personally, I love it, I think it's so much fun, but it is limiting to the type of engagements you can get into. So the first sub on the list is the AUG, and personally, I am not a fan of this weapon. I know some other people rave about it, they think it's really good, no one says it's the best submachine gun. No one out there I have seen thinks it's the best because the MP5 and the MP7 definitely seem to be the favorites when it comes to subs in this game. I can't wait to try out those weapons, but a lot of people do rate this weapon. So since I've been using it and leveling it up, remember I've got it gold, so I have about 800 to 900 kills with this weapon. I have lots of experience with this weapon. I've definitely used it. I've used lots of different attachments to try and create a class. And in all honesty, nothing really worked for me. I was trying out all of these different combinations and I just couldn't get it together. And I knew that other people were having success with it. So what I did is I went out I watched other people's YouTube videos on their classes and my preferred class is actually another YouTuber's class and I will give that person the shout out and respect they deserve when I move on to their class. But first I just want to talk about the pros and cons with the AUG because I think that is the fairest way to evaluate this weapon after I've started to use it. So let's first start off with the negatives because I want to end on a positive note. So I think this weapon has a very poor aim down sight speed. The ADS speed is just terrible, really is bad, considering it is a submachine gun. The other negative is the recoil control. Now for me, those are the two biggest things when it comes to a submachine gun. You want a weapon that can aim down sight fast, and then you want a weapon that has decent recoil control so you can get those close and to medium ranged kills. Next up, the iron sights. I don't think the iron sights are that good, and the reason why is because when you do look down sight, even though the top half of the screen you have good visibility, there's just so much of the weapon blocking down below. As if you look at the iron sights for an MP5, the sights sit a little higher on the weapon and you get a much better field of view. You can see a lot more of your screen. As with the AUG, it's very boxy and you have a lot of the weapon blocking your screen. So if there's anyone that is hiding below your iron sights, then that's definitely going to cost you a lot of kills if you can't see the enemy who are just a little bit below your weapon. And another negative is the fire rate. The fire rate isn't really that good. It's not that great. And another negative actually that I forgot is the base magazine size is 25 shots and you go through it so fast. Even though the fire rate isn't that impressive, I found myself just needing to reload so much. However, with some of these classes that we're gonna be going over, that problem is covered. Now let's move on to the positives. The first positive is the damage. This weapon does have decent damage. If you're going for those medium distance shots, you can get kills very fast with little connection. It's pretty decent. It probably is going to be one of the hardest hitting submachine guns per shot, but its fire rate does let it down. The other positive is this weapon is very versatile, and you will see that with some of the attachments both me and this other YouTuber have chosen to complete their classes. And not only does it have a good variety of attachments, you can definitely build this weapon in multiple ways and have it work. Okay, so now let's move on to the class that I was using and failing with. So let me just make that clear that this class that I'm about to show you isn't the actual one that I recommend, the other YouTuber I recommend. So the class that I have, I've got a muzzle, barrel, stock, perk, and rear grip. So I have a suppressor, what is giving me sound suppression. I have got the 407 millimeter lightweight barrel that is giving me damage range and bullet velocity. 
I have the stock that is giving me aim down sight speed because that is a problem. I've got sleight of hand because reloading is a problem, so I've got sleight of hand so I can reload as fast as possible. And then I've got the stippled grip tape, what is the number one best and pretty much only rear grip you want for most weapons, especially submachine guns, because it is giving you the ADS speed and sprint to fire speed. And sprint to fire speed is a big one that not many attachments actually give you. Now the negatives of this weapon, I have two nerfs to aiming stability, one to aim down sight, and then one to damage range with my lightweight suppressor. Now, like I said, this is not my preferred class. I was doing okay with it, but I knew something wasn't clicking. So I had to move on to another person's class. And that other person is the one and only J-God. He really is a god at COD. He knows so much, he is so talented and knowledgeable. He's like a wizard. And I watched his video on the org, and then I thought I would try out his class because I respect his opinion a lot and I was starting to have success with this weapon and that is why I recommend his class. So his attachments are similar to mine but they are just better in all honesty. He has a muzzle, barrel, stock, rear grip and an ammunition change. So in his class he has three of the exact same attachments as me. He's got the same rear grip, he's got the same stock and he has the same barrel. He's getting two buffs to the ADS speed along with the sprint to fire speed and he's also getting that damage range and bullet velocity. Now his two other attachments that differ from mine, he has the monolithic suppressor what is giving him damage range as well as sound suppression but it is coming at the cost of ADS speed and aiming walking steadiness. And then the biggest difference is he has an ammunition, what is a 60 round drum, what is giving me a damage buff, an overall damage buff, a range buff, and of course extra magazine ammo capacity. That is coming at the cost of aiming recoil control, aiming down sight speed and movement speed. Now, when I used this class, it was just so much better. So as soon as I started to use this class, I noticed an immediate difference. I was going on better kill streaks, I was surviving more, I was winning more gunfights. And basically, J God has turned this submachine gun a lot more into an assault rifle. He has accepted the nerfs to the ADS speed. He has tried to cover that in two of the attachments, the stippled grip tape and the stock. But he is happily and willingly taking those nerfs with the ammunition and the monolithic suppressor. But what he is getting at that cost is for this weapon to be a lot more deadly. He has made this submachine gun now deal so much more damage than most other subs. It's definitely now a hard hitter in relation to the submachine gun category. Also having 35 more bullets in your magazine is just going to win you so many more gunfights than you would have previously on the measly 25. So all I can say is shout out to J-God for this class. Fair play, this is definitely the preferred class, much better than the class that I first came up with. But overall, I do not rate this submachine gun, and I just know there are going to be so many other better ones in this category. I've already started using the P90, and just its base version is so much better than the Org, in my opinion. But that is it for today's video, guys. Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, consider subscribing and turning on notifications to stay updated on all my latest content. But that's all from me. Take care, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.